what we're trying to do is map the below water portion of a ship hull while it's in water. Our ultimate goal is basically to give you a map or a model of the below water portion of the ship. We would currently do this with human divers. So we put people in the water to swim around, look at the underside portion of the ship. And typically from a security application, they're looking for, is there any kind of foreign object that might have been placed uh, on the hull, say like a limpet mine or an object like that. I'm an assistant professor here in the Naval Architecture and Marine Engineering with a joint appointment in Computer Science and in Mechanical Engineering. We tested this on a variety of different hulls, ranging from U.S. aircraft carriers to um, oceanographic uh, research vessels to the U.S. Coast Guard vessels. This is a picture of the robot that we use uh, for this project. It's called the HAUV, which stands for Hovering Autonomous Underwater Vehicle. So here's the robot going along the hull. What you see is basically where the camera, it has a camera system on it and a sonar system on the hull. We're actually using the camera and the sonar data to allow the robot to navigate much like you or I do as a human. So when we walk around on, say, on North Campus here in Ann Arbor, and if I'm lost, but all of a sudden I see the Deuterstat Center, boom, I kind of know where I am. I can reset my mental map, and from there I can figure out how to, to kind of go where I want to go. Well, we're trying to do the same thing with the robotic system here. So here on the hull of the ship, what the robot's doing is it's using camera imagery and sonar imagery. It's actually interpreting that imagery um, while it's doing the mission, and it's actually using that imagery to help it relocalize and refigure out, oh, hey, I'm back here near the stern part of the vessel, or oh, here, I'm back here at the bow. I've been here before. I kind of know where I am. And we're actually doing the real-time kind of matching of this imagery in terms of extracting features and figuring out how these images might relate to basically add these as corrections to the robot's trajectory. So here we're kind of looking at a visualization of the robot's trajectory along the hull. Each of these red links that we see here, these are automatic recognitions coming from the camera system saying, oh, I've been here before, I know where I am. I can use that to correct the navigation estimate of this robot while it's underway doing the mission. Basically, we can stump the robot in the water and it actually learns this map while it's doing the mission. We don't have to tell anything about what the ship hull looks like ahead of time. It figures it out while it's doing the mission. In the lab, we run two underwater vehicles. These are called AEVs, which stands for Autonomous Underwater Vehicles. Just like on the hull inspection project where we're trying to map the um, below water portion of a hull, we can use a vehicle like this to basically create maps of the seafloor. It's these two cameras, one's black and white, one's color. They're basically looking at the seafloor and collecting that overlapping imagery. This is one of the sonars that we use to help the vehicle navigate. The robot is basically registering that seafloor imagery to re-recognize portions of the seafloor that's previously been over and using that to correct the navigation estimate of the robot. As well as at the end of the mission, we can then put all the imagery together to produce a single kind of seamless um, image of the seafloor. So kind of like Google Maps, but for underwater. They're very methodical, so we can program them. Basically, we call it mowing the lawn, but they used to go back and forth, back and forth for hours over the seafloor, collecting overlapping camera imagery. Something that'd be very mundane and kind of monotonous to, uh, for a human to try to do, whereas a robotic system is perfect for doing something like that.